Most people know who Natalie Imbruglia is thanks to her hit song, Torn. Let's take a look at how Imbruglia's been handling fame since she released her incredibly successful debut single in 1997. It's safe to say that there have been some ups and downs since then. One of the reasons that Natalie Imbruglia has been out of the spotlight in recent years is because she decided to become a mother. In October 2019, Imbruglia revealed that she'd given birth to a baby boy by sharing the first photo of him on Instagram. The singer wrote alongside a blue heart emoji, Welcome to the world, Max Valentine Imbruglia. My heart is bursting. Imbruglia surprised fans with news of her pregnancy in July 2019 when she shared a photo of her baby bump on Instagram. The actress explained, for those of you that know me, this has been something I have wanted for a very long time, and I'm blessed that this is possible with the help of IVF. I won't be saying anything more on that publicly. I'm so excited about this next adventure. Given that she's lived in the United Kingdom throughout most of her career, Natalie Imbruglia decided to officially become a British citizen. In a 2015 interview with Evening Standard, the Aussie star revealed that the road to citizenship wasn't a breeze and said, I had to take an exam, lots of questions about the suffragette movement, but I failed the first time and had to get a tutor. I got really emotional. I choked. I couldn't believe it. I thought, I really, really care about this. It's a really big deal. Despite becoming a British citizen, Imbruglia still holds her home country of Australia close to her heart. During an interview on Lorraine in 2015, Imbruglia revealed, Well, I have dual citizenship, so I haven't... <laughs> <laughs> Turn my back on Australia, but I go home about three times a year. While announcing her pregnancy on Instagram, Natalie Imbruglia also shared some other exciting news when she said, I'm very happy to announce that I have just signed a record deal with BMG. What an amazing team. I have been busy writing for the past year and a half and can't wait to share these new songs with you all. While her debut single Torn remains Imbruglia's most recognizable hit to date, the singer has actually released four studio albums, as well as a 2015 album of cover songs called Mail, featuring the music of male bands and artists. She also released a greatest hits album called Glorious, the singles 97 to 07 in the United Kingdom and Australia in 2007, proving that her fan base is alive and well, and ready for new music. In 2018, Imbruglia appeared on an episode of the Australian version of Who Do You Think You Are, in which the celeb explored her heritage as a half-Italian, half-Australian woman. Per the show's network SBS Australia, prior to her participation with the program, Natalie Imbruglia only knows the characters from her father's Italian heritage. She knows very little about her mother's Australian ancestors. On a quest for answers, Natalie Imbruglia unearths the hidden truths behind her Australian roots. She finds a tale of mystery and violence, and in her search for strong women, discovers the men who left them behind. During the show, Imbruglia also revealed that she'd been bullied for her Italian heritage as a child, and schoolmates had told her she should return to her father's home country. Imbruglia learned during the show that her Australian heritage was stronger than she ever realized, and that her great-great-great-great-great-grandfather was among the first groups of people to arrive in Australia. According to National Geographic, the first fleet consisted of the 11 ships that sailed from Portsmouth, England in 1787 and founded the first colony of settlers in Botany Bay, Australia. The longevity of her mother's family in the country finally proved that the performer was as much Australian as she was Italian, once and for all. Much has been written about Natalie Imbruglia's striking looks. In 2015, Imbruglia opened up to the mirror about how she stays fit, saying, I'm blessed with good genes. My mother is beautiful. I work out and, for the most part, eat healthy. Then I get on with life and eat crisps. I think it's just balance. I drink a lot of water, and I don't work too hard. Basically, Imbruglia's approach to life sounds like something we could all learn from. However, the singer was quick to dispel the idea that her life is picture perfect, as she told the outlet, I'm not saying I'm perfect, I have insecurities, but I want to enjoy my 40s. And yes, I've got wrinkles, but I'm happy. With a career in the entertainment industry that's been going since the 90s, Natalie Imbruglia accrued some seriously famous friends, and fellow Australian singer Kylie Minogue is one of them. In an interview with The Mirror in 2015, Imbruglia opened up about a vacation she'd been on with Minogue, saying, It was last minute, we both had some days off, and it was just lovely. We were just two friends having a girly holiday. And when asked if she ever gets mistaken for Kylie's similar-looking sister, Danny Minogue, Imbruglia replied, I do. It happened while we were away. However, the big mistake singer also tried to make it clear that she doesn't vacation with her famous friends year-round. As she told the outlet, I do have an incredible amount of travel in my life, and I see beautiful things in the world. But I have 
days. I just don't share them, and it does make it look like your life's really rosy. In an effort to help others who may be struggling with mental health, Natalie Imbruglia lent her voice to Sane Australia. She explained to the organization, I have experienced depression, and that's why I think it's important to talk about it. Because if I can tell people that I've been through it, maybe they won't feel so silly that they have. She expanded on the topic in an interview with The Mirror in 2015, revealing that she's also dealt with a number of health conditions over the years. Imbruglia said, I was anxious, nervous, stressed out, and scared. I didn't want to go outside in case people recognized me. It nearly sent me insane. I felt I had to live up to Torn. I didn't write it, but I was a part of the reason it was so successful. As well as feeling overwhelmed by career pressures, Imbruglia revealed that she lives with obsessive compulsive disorder and explained, I have OCD, which can be a problem because I'm not good with change. My motto is, no surprises. It's an OCD from my mother. It is hard. In trying to control things, it doesn't work. Imbruglia may have been out of the spotlight in recent years, but she's continued to advocate on behalf of others by discussing her health issues. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Imbruglia has an estimated $14 million in the bank, which is a little more than impressive. So I was actually really nervous about failing. From her music career to her movie roles to lucrative endorsements with the likes of L'Oreal and Gap, Imbruglia's career is about much more than one popular single. After the singer's debut album sold more than 6 million copies, Imbruglia told Red UK, I remember being in the car with my manager and she said, you're a millionaire. She said it over and over. I just busted my sides. In recent years, Imbruglia has stepped back from the crazy celebrity life. Instead, as she told The Mirror in 2015, I don't work around the clock and I don't apologize for that. I've discovered what I do doesn't define me. I want to be happy and not everyone wants to work that hard. For her comeback record, Mail, released in 2015 after a six-year break from releasing new music, Natalie Imbruglia decided to exclusively cover songs originally recorded by male artists. As she told Du Jour, there was instantly a different interpretation when it was coming from a woman. The way you think and feel about the song is different. The pop star chose tracks by iconic male singers in bands including Death Cab for Cutie, The Cure, The Late Tom Petty, and Daft Punk. The singer explained to DuJour, For me, there's nothing more sexy than being a strong, independent woman who knows what she wants. In the back of my mind, there was something kind of cool about my face on an album with the word male on it. Imbruglia also told Entertainment Weekly, The songs on this album are about finding that life partner and that sentiment behind the songs, which I think is beautiful. Since welcoming her son Max in October 2019, Natalie Imbruglia's priorities have understandably changed. Rather than looking for love right now, the singer is apparently content to be single until she finds a partner who is ready to be a parent, just like she is. A source allegedly close to Imbruglia told The Sun, I think one great thing about being a mom for Natalie is that she has a much better chance of meeting Mr. Wright because she is thinking about finding a great dad, not just a guy to hang out with. Men love Natalie, and she has never been short of admirers. They go crazy for her, and even now she can have her pick of dudes. But while Imbruglia's past relationships always seem to have fizzled, her so-called pal believes that having a baby is the right move for the star. The source explained, she got so tired of the disappointment and just really needed a break from all that. She is a super confident and fulfilled person who can give a child everything. And judging by her adorable Instagram posts, Imbruglia has adjusted to motherhood just fine. Natalie Imbruglia often finds herself on the red carpet, which means that she has no shortage of fabulous gowns. But with every outfit comes the possibility of a wardrobe malfunction, of which Imbruglia is only too aware. In an interview with Style by Yellow Button in 2014, the actress explained, I once wore a dress, I think it was an Armani, and it was more sheer than I had realized. Sometimes you don't know how sheer something is until there is a strong flash. It wasn't until she saw the photographs afterwards that she realized her look was a little transparent and perhaps showed a bit too much flesh. Imbruglia continued, I mean, I don't have a paparazzi camera at home, but that dress was just a little too sheer. The Johnny English star also told the website, My uniform is normally jeans, a blazer, and a heel. While the opportunity for wardrobe malfunctions taking place in our day-to-day -day life is relatively low, it can happen to the best of us. Having previously been the face of L'Oreal, Natalie Imbruglia decided to launch her own skincare line called Iluca. In a 2014 interview with Rescue, Imbruglia said of the new line, I have always loved the calming and revitalizing powers of water. Meanwhile, the site explained, 
Iluka is an anti-aging range including all natural Australian ingredients including manuka honey, marine collagen, kakadu plum, and crushed pearl. In a YouTube video for Rescue, Imbruglia revealed that she developed the line after suffering from rosacea acne, with the view to create something that would help her skin. Considering the star's usually flawless complexion, whatever she's using is clearly working. Imbruglia also explained that it was crucial to her that her skincare line celebrated her homeland of Australia. She said, We just talked through Australian ingredients, and I work with biochemists, and they tell me Australian ingredients that I can use in what they do. Sadly, the Aluka skincare website is now offline, and its Facebook page hasn't been updated since December 2016. Judging by the brand's glowing reviews, its disappearance from the market is a real shame. We can only hope that the brand gets a global relaunch sometime soon, as we could all do with having glowing skin like Imbruglia's. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.